Even if you're seeing the third rerun of your own birth, you'll feel like you had a good time if you're curled in a warm seat with buttery popcorn on your lap and a sound system that seems to be routed right into your temporal lobe. These are a few movie theaters that take a good experience and turn it into something special for the world's jet-setting movie buff. So let's get started, since we've put together a list of the top 10 coolest movie theaters on the planet. Number 10. Coliseum Kino, Oslo, Norway The Coliseum Kino in Oslo, Norway is the largest cinema in North Europe and the largest THX theater in the world. It is famous for its massive spherical dome. Its 40-meter diameter is comparable to the dome of St. Paul's Basilica. The theater has consistently kept up with the times, being the first in Norway to install the cinemascope format in 1954 and a sophisticated Alcon's audio cinema array sound system in 2009. In 1988, the distinctive copper roof was built, which was imported from Hamin Lina, Finland. Number 9. Grauman's Chinese Theater, Los Angeles After opening its doors for the first time in 1927, Grauman's Chinese Theater has been the go-to location for Hollywood's most lavish film premieres ever since. The adjacent Grauman's Egyptian Theater, which opened five years earlier and had a similar Chinese pagoda design, inspired the new structure's construction. After Cecil B. DeMille's King of Kings premiered, the theater has hosted three Academy Awards ceremonies and the premieres of the first two Star Wars films. The concrete blocks in the courtyard that feature the autographs, footprints, and handprints of notable film celebrities from the 1920s to the current day are just as well known as the cinema itself. Number 8. The Castro Theater, San Francisco, United States the Castro, one of San Francisco's oldest and most recognizable theaters, with an unusual style influenced by Mexican churches, the Nasser brothers built it in 1922, and the family that recovered possession in 2001 continues to operate it now. Located in an area that is one of the most LGBTQ-friendly in the United States, the Castro has taken advantage of this welcoming atmosphere. Sing-along screenings at the Art Deco Castro have made it a hotbed of LGBTQ pride in San Francisco. Number 7. Kino International, Berlin, Germany The Kino International in former East Berlin is a harsh, brutal-looking edifice that embodies the aesthetics of the Cold War. Films from the German Democratic Republic had their world premieres there before the collapse of the Berlin Wall, and many of those films had strong socialist overtones. A lot of care was put into making sure moviegoers had an enjoyable experience, even if the design is basic and tidy. A recording studio's acoustics can be found here. Wood and acoustic dampening panels cover the walls. Since the Kino was designated a cultural site in 1990 and cannot be changed, the building's exterior and interior are protected. Art house films are now the focus of Kino International's programming, as well as premieres, festivals, and other events. Number 6. Raj Mandir Theatre, Jaipur, India in addition to reflecting the city's architecture and color, the Raj Mandir's pink Art Deco-inspired facade has waves and asymmetrical designs that mirror the wild technicolor sensibility of the Bollywood movie's screens. It has about 1,200 seats and is usually always sold out when it first opened in 1976. In other words, going to the Raj Mandir to see a Bollywood film really is the pinnacle of the Bollywood movie-going experience. There will be plenty of opportunities to get up and move about as well as purchase refreshments and drinks throughout your three-hour journey through the Hindi epic. Clap along with the crowd when the hero appears on screen. The villain should be booed every time he appears in a scene. Number 5. Pathé Tuschinski, Amsterdam, the Netherlands the Pathé Tuchinsky, a stunning Art Deco cinema theater in the heart of Amsterdam, is only a short walk from Rembrandt Plain. The largest cinema in the nation was built by Abraham Isaac Suchinsky, a Polish-Jewish immigrant who had originally planned a sale to the United States. With a large entrance, an imposing Art Deco facade, and two towers soaring above the neighborhood, the cinema was built to wow. It's impossible not to be taken aback by the opulent surroundings. Despite being reduced to 740 seats, the Suchinsky's main auditorium has been lovingly refurbished with the addition of love seats and private boxes for a really memorable experience. Number 4. Elgin Winter Garden Theatre, Toronto, Canada The Elgin and Winter Garden Theatre is one of the only two stacked Edwardian theatres in the world, basically one theatre on top of another. It was built in 1913 to cater to two very different clientele. 
The lower level theater was home to continuous vaudeville acts and silent movies, while the upper level, Winter Garden, was reserved for big name acts and more affluent patrons. The Winter Garden level was designed to evoke a country garden under the star's atmosphere and is painted with murals of plants and garden trellises. With tree trunk columns and lantern lights, this elaborately furnished space plays host to screenings during the Toronto Film Festival and can be admired on tours of the building that are held every day. Number 3. Matadera Cineteca, Madrid, Spain Matadero Cineteca, tucked away in one of Madrid's less attractive neighborhoods, is Spain's only cinema dedicated only to documentary films. It has two cinemas, a film studio, a cafe, a free-to-access film library, and a purpose to encourage future filmmakers. The structure was once a slaughterhouse, and much of its raw, brutal aesthetic has survived. The building's skeletal frameworks are made up of reused irrigation pipes, and the brick walls are stark and exposed. It appears that it was always going to be a movie theater, Filmmakers used it to shoot scenes for war movies before it was abandoned. In 1986, Pedro Almodovar filmed some sequences for his film Matador. Number 2. Busan Cinema Center, Korea Bombastic and attention-grabbing, the Busan Cinema Center was created to host the Busan International Film Festival, one of the largest and most regarded in Asia. Designed by Austrian design company Coop Himleb, it includes the world's longest cantilever roof. All the outer ceilings are covered with LED lighting that continually changes color, generating amazing visual shows, equally as engaging as the movies presented inside. Interesting fact, locals call it Dururam, which is Korean, meaning everyone joining movies together. Number 1. Electric Cinema, Notting Hill, London, England the Portobello Road's refurbished Grade 2 listed cinema is the most opulent and pleasant venue to see a film in London. Leather armchairs, each with a cashmere blanket, a footstool, and a side table on which to put your wine and nibbles, are provided for the guests of the restaurant. Six double beds have been added to the front rows, and a long row of comfortable couches have been added to the rear. New American-style donuts have arrived in the foyer, with flavors including maple bourbon, bergamot orange, ginger chew, Mexican chocolate, and berry trifle available. People will flock to the theaters that provide amenities like sofas and even beds to make them feel more at home, while others will provide food and beverages of a higher caliber than the traditional movie concessions like popcorn and bunch of crunch. We hope you enjoyed today's tour of the top 10 coolest movie theaters around the world. So which of these cinemas would you like to visit someday with your friends? Share it in the comments below! Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel, District 10 TV, for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video!